seems to be the snake hike of the year for us. We've spotted a second snake. This is a very venomous snake. This is a hemotoxic venom snake. Uh, we know it's a pit viper. Every year between three to five hundred people get bit by venomous snakes, most of which are the fertile ants. Only probably out of those maybe five to ten people actually die. Most people get to the hospital in time, they get a dose of antivenin from this hemotoxic reptile, and they're fine. The problem is, most people are actually allergic to the antivenin because it utilizes horse antibodies, which most people have an allergic reaction to. This venom, the hemotoxic venom, affects blood and tissue. So it's basically like, think of it as injecting acid under your skin. It's going to tear up your tissues, it's going to just dissolve away any kind of soft tissue, start to dissolve away bone, and it's going to cause the tissue to go necrotic. So as long as you get to the hospital in time, yes, it's an extremely painful experience, not something you do for fun on a Saturday night. Hey man, let's go get bit by a pillow. No man, let's just have some cervezas, okay? It's not something you could do for fun. However, it is survivable, all right? Now, like I said, this guy may be a very dark colored fertile ant. He may also be a Montane's pit vi uh, jumping pit viper. There are many, many different types of pit vipers here in the rainforest, especially in this lowland rainforest here in Costa Rica. So we're going to try to very, very super, super carefully move this guy off the path without disturbing him as much as possible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, take a minute and back up, because if he comes zooming this way, I need to jump out of the way. He Seems remarkably calm. Okay, there's his head smelling the end of the stick there. Giving it a sniff, see what's going on. I'm gonna very carefully kind of see if I can lift him up for the camera there. He's about a foot and a half, maybe barely close to two feet. And he is very pissed off right now. Very pointy nose, you see that? Mm hmm. You getting that on camera? Mm hmm. Very, very pointy nose. I just gotta be very. Ooh. You watch yourself, please. He's pretty Look at cool. him coiling up right in that leaf litter right there. I'm trying to lift him up so you can see him. Right there, hold on. If I just get him underneath the stick right. Whoa. Sorry, buddy. Whoa. Woo! Yes, he, he did. Oh, woo! And look at that tail going. Now he's pissed. Oh, look at him striking that. Watch out, Deuce. Did you get all that on film? Yes. Come on, buddy. It's all right. Come on, buddy. Right. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Now you guys can see. Come back a little bit. Don't come too, too close. Very beautiful snake. Like I said, probably only about a foot and a half, maybe foot long. Very strange tipped nose. You guys notice how his tail started flicking like that in the leaves? Guess what that is? Make him look bigger. Not, Not only sound like a rattlesnake. Like a rattlesnake. Huh? No, that's, no that's to show, that's for him to tell us, hey, I'm big, I'm bad, I'm awesome, leave me alone. Let me just pull it over this way, show it to the students real quick. Now, do not tell me like that. This tail looks like a worm. Uh-huh. That's probably possibly, possibly partly a lure, but more than anything, it's meant to flick in the leaves like a rattlesnake. And, sh and make a noise to warn predators, hey, I'm venomous, I'm bad, look out for me. It's probably going to musk us. That's a good shot right there. Just be careful. Don't come any closer than where you guys are right now. He's good. Hurry, right, Michaela. You yep, think look he... at that. He's totally musking. See that stuff coming out near his back end that looks like poop, you guys? That's a very stinky substance called musk. Our garter snake at school is infamous for doing this when you handle him too roughly. That's why he's flicking his tail all around like, I'm going to squirt you. I'm going to squirt you. Last shot, and then we're going to put him away. Okay. We're going to have to be my... Make sure you get me in the shot if you can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. He said very... Whoop. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. off again, Mr. Nick. 
Okay, let me get him off the path for you, Deuce. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Are you getting all this? Whoa, look at those fangs. Woohoo, baby! Whoa! About a half an inch to an Big inch. enough. Ow. Definitely big enough to do some damage. This is how big they are. Why wow. would it make it feel like burning? Uh, more than burning. It would make you feel like you want to die. More like people are shoving knives into your bones. Pretty much. It's very excruciatingly painful. I've heard people that, like women that get bit by these type of snakes, that say it's more painful than childbirth. Yeah, back up, guys, please. All right. I think we're going to let this guy go off into the bushes there. Let's see if we can make sure he gets off the trail completely, though, so nobody else like us comes upon him and possibly steps on him. We don't want someone hurting him, and we certainly don't want him hurting us. All right. Wow. I don't really see any venom on the stick specifically. Maybe a little bit, but... Second venomous snake in about two hours. We're gonna keep heading carefully down the mountain to our waterfall so we can cool off from all these crazy, amazing things going on. And we're gonna move on to our next great adventure. Let's go.